Hello! Glad to welcome you on our channel Pumps Audit. In this video we are going to consider methods of pressure measurement, some factors affecting accuracy of pump measurements, and common errors that are made by the pump users. Having the value of pressure we can estimate the real pump head, the position of a pump operating point, and decide whether the pump operates effectively or not effectively. Some topics of this video Head to pressure ratio How density affecting the pressure value What is the pump head Full pump head and differential pump head Pressure gauges Types and problems Location of pressure gauges Indirect methods of the pressure measurements Pressure to head ratio is worth keeping in mind every time we measure a pressure. This formula shows that the pressure is equal to head multiplied by density and gravitational acceleration. On the other hand, head is the pressure divided on gravitational acceleration and density. These are the most popular units of pressure we use and ratios between some of them. For approximate evaluation of pump head using pressure measurements, a simplified ratio can be used. For example, for the cold water head is equal to pressure in bars multiplied by 10. When you pump a liquid that has a density different of that of cold water, it is necessary to take into account the density when we calculate the head. This slide demonstrates how the density influences the pressure. The pressure is the same for liquids with different densities – water, pulp slurry and diesel. But heads are different because of different densities. As I said at the beginning, the pump head is a very informative value. If we have the value of the pump head and the curve of the pump, we can define the position of the operating point on the QH curve. We can define flow, power and pH. What else? If we have track records of values of pump head, we can evaluate the condition of pumps, its deterioration over the time. This slide demonstrates what I said. If we measure the pressure, we can calculate the head. Using the pump curve, we can find the position of the operating point and we can define flow, power, and PSH, at least evaluate them. Let's remember what the pump head is. The pump head is the difference between full heads at discharge pipe and at inlet pipe. The full head is the sum of two components, velocity head and pressure head. It's also necessary to take into account the location of pressure gauges. You need to take into account the height difference between gauges. The formula on the previous slide can be transformed to the more applicable form with using pump flow and pipe diameters. Pressure gauges. Usually pressure gauges with burden tube are used. The burden type pressure gauge works on the principle that the curved tube is trying to straighten itself out when pressurized. This motion is mechanically transferred to a hand that indicates the pressure. The main disadvantage of this type is the sensitivity to water hammer and overpressure. Even calibration doesn't guarantee reliable readings. The preferred type of pressure transducers is a meter like the fluke meter. It's calibrated and will give a reading in the chosen units when connected to a multimeter. What is important is to use a reliable pressure meter and do not rely on fixed installed meters of the type with burden tube. Other factors influencing pressure measurements Service environment, history, water hammer, calibration, instrument range, accuracy, Overpressure capability, physical location setup, process connection point, accounting for sensing element elevation, proper instrument line fill and vent. 
It is very important to take into account the allocation of pressure gauges related to the pump impeller axis. This is especially important for the low head pumps. In this picture, the example of how the pressure gauge can be installed related to the pump is shown. In this case, the pump pressure can be calculated by adding gauge pressure to the pressure defined by the height of the gauge installation. Also, it is very important to take into account pressure losses in the pipes or manifold from the pump to the pressure gauge. It can influence the test results, especially for low head pumps. Here we can see the example which illustrates how relatively small difference in the pump head value can influence the value of the flow. The difference in 2 meters gives the difference in flow 700 cubic meters per hour. Very often, pressure gauges are absent and there is no direct opportunity to measure the pressure. But sometimes you can use the indirect methods for evaluation of the pressure. For example, if pump takes liquid from the tank, the level of a liquid in the tank can be converted to the pressure by using this formula. Let me remind you once again that pump head is the difference of full heads in discharge and suction pipelines. Very often, pump users forget about it and do not install the pressure gauge in suction pipeline. It can lead to incorrect pump head evaluation. One more interesting question. When it's worth taking into account the velocity head? To answer this question, let's calculate the velocity heads for different pipe diameters. Let's calculate the velocity and velocity head in pipes with diameters 100, 150 and 300 mm for the flow 1000 cubic meters per hour. We see that for the pipe 100 mm, the velocity is 35 meters per second and velocity head is almost 64 meters, what is quite big value. For the pipe 300 mm, velocity is 4 meters per second and velocity head is 0.78 meters. It is clear that for pipes 100 and 150 mm, the velocity head should be taken into account. For the pipe 300 mm, the velocity head can be neglected. Make your pumping system efficient. If you need more information, please visit our website pumpsaudit.com. See you. Good luck.